Okay, besties, we are heading out of the city. We just finished up at that cafe that I thought was a different cafe that I have never been to before. And we are heading out of this downtown wild crazy mess. And uh, forgive me if I have a little bit of like chocolate in my teeth or anything like that. I am a human being. Um, and yeah, I am excited to be getting out of here and just passing the US Bank Stadium, which I believe is like one of the most expensive, ridiculous, stupid um, stadiums in the entire world. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I remember when it was being built, it was like this huge thing, how much money it was. But yeah, we there are copper roonies everywhere, by the way, I keep passing them and I'm just like waiting to get pulled over, but I haven't yet. I don't know what's rolling around down there, but anyway, the cafe was good. I have my coffee here. Everything is vegan there and it's 100% um, compostable and it tastes good. I got a Louisiana latte. Rosie got an oat milk with um, a little bit of caramel and cinnamon. And then we got an ice cream a little scoop of ice cream as well as a little cream filled cookie sandwich that was fantastic and yeah it was just a little cafe nothing crazy just you know just a little place to get a nice little treat um definitely not what i thought it was though i don't know what the name of the place that i think i'm i swear it was hark but i don't know I, I truly do not know, but it's definitely not that place. Um, but oh well, we tried something new. Good for us. Go us. Look at us go. I am so proud of us. <laughs> and now we are getting the heck out of here. It is so, it stresses me out so bad to like drive in the cities. Um, I mean, not really. Okay, that was an exaggeration. It's stressing me out right now to drive in the cities, <laughs> um, but typically... I'm fine with it. And I do it often enough. I do it all the time to where it doesn't really, really bother me. Like it stresses me out a lot less because um, I'm not in CJ's truck. CJ's truck is huge. It has an eight foot bed. It's massive. And when I drive that in the cities, that's a bit stress -roo. It really is. That one, that is not for the weak. I tell you what, <laughs> not to be played with, but this is much easier than that. Much easier. So it's all good. But there are just so many people all around and I don't want to hit anyone and I never know if it's a one way or anything like that. So anyway, we are getting out of here and we are heading to Edina. We are going to a bookstore in Edina because when I sat down with my little with my little thingy thing and I realized um, I sat down with my oh, that was so Minnesotan I sat down I sat down with my planner and I was going to start writing things in my planner and then I realized that that planner is from 2022 and I have literally been writing in a planner that is the wrong year <sighs> anyway I don't want to talk about it. So I was like, well, I need a planner. And I haven't been buying planners. I've seen a few that I've wanted, but I haven't been buying them because I was just like, no, I'm not gonna buy a planner when I already have a perfectly good cheetah print one at home. And I'm realizing now I got that cheetah print planner, I believe when I was in Savannah, when I was in Georgia. And I got that planner and it was like on clearance. And that's why, because it wasn't for this year. Silly me. <laughs> I think anyway, I don't know, man. I don't know where the, that's the only thing I can think of that that's where it came from. And I don't, I don't know. That's just, that is what it is. So I was like, oh, let's go to a Barnes and Noble. And there was one like right down the road, but I was like, no, no, we are not going to try to park in the city again because I, parked and like didn't pay because I couldn't figure out how that shows how not city girl I am I never pay when I go to the cities unless I'm like in a paid lot 
she admits illegally <laughs> should not be saying that but it's true like I just don't know how and nobody's ever taught me so I I tried to figure it out today but I was like oh, I don't know there was no QR code to scan no website to go to nothing I was just like forget it forget it so I didn't pay and so the whole time we were there I was like super stressed out that I was not going to like that I was going to look out the window and see a cop like writing me a ticket and I was just like we can't have that this will not do so we tried to like hurry up while we were there but we did go to the bathroom while we were there so we were set for a nice little drive so we decided instead of going to the one right down the road we are going to go to Edina which is 17 minutes away or it's 10 minutes now but it was 17 minutes from where we were and yeah I figured why not go to a super nice Barnes and Noble. Ooh, it's only 55 here. And I was going much faster than that. I did not realize. Oopsie poopsie lemon squeezy. Doodle doo. So I was thinking of getting a neon sign like all the influencers do and putting up like a moss wall and then putting the neon sign in the middle. But I was considering doing that, but then I was like, what would I put on it? And I was like, I could, I want to do it like something that I say, you know, not just like girls only or no boys allowed or something like that. But I wanted to make it something that I actually say. And I don't want to put best life by Brooke, even though that's my brand. So I probably should, but I want to do like an ism of mine because I say a lot of things. Right. And I was thinking it might be funny to do like Brooke, 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 and have it like get smaller because that's what I say in my intro on, in my ASMR videos, I say brook, 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 brook. So I thought that that might be funny, but then I was like, what would I put like sip or Rooney or with like a glass of wine or like a coffee mug full of wine, but that would be really expensive to do like a full custom, like it'd be one thing to get like a custom phrase or something on there, but it would be a totally different thing to get like a custom picture on a neon sign. I'm sure that would just be hundreds of dollars and that's just silly. That's, that's just not worth it. So yeah, I'm not going to do that. Never mind. I was going to say like, I could have it say like a sip -a or take a sip -a and relax or something and have it be like a coffee mug with a straw coming out of it. Cause that's what I drink my wine out of. I thought that would be really funny and creative, but nah, no, it's all right. It's all right. I don't need a neon sign. It would just be fun to have. So yeah, we are going to Edina. I figured Edina would probably have a really nice Barnes and Noble. I don't know, maybe not, but typically Edina has really nice things. They're a fancier community. Or at least they used to be. I don't know if they are anymore, but they used to be very hoity-toity. Very fancy. Very fancy. And I figured if I'm going to a Barnes & Noble, that's not my usual Barnes & Noble. I may as well go to a nice Barnes & Noble. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So, that's that. Harry Potter. if it goes through her stomach um actually I don't know how many points she says moaning Myrtle in that scene how many points does moaning Myrtle say in that scene what is it five points if it goes through her stomach ten points if it goes through her head I don't know anyway <laughs> um yeah, I still can't get over it. It's 57 degrees, but it's super cloudy today. So it's not, it doesn't feel like yesterday felt hotter and nicer at 40 degrees than it, or 40 something degrees than it does today at 57 because of the sun. But that's okay. I am so blissfully happy with this weather. I'm so grateful. Anything that's not... Uh, snow and slush at this point I'm grateful not because I don't love the snow and slush don't get me wrong I do love the snow I love winter I love Minnesota in the winter and I don't 
hate on the snow the same way that everybody else does. But I'm excited for the turning point only because I want my rooftop bars to open back up. I want my patio restaurants to open back up. I want to be able to bring Passport to the brewery because we can sit outside. I want to be able to lay out by the pool when I go to the gym every day. That's what I want. I, I, I'm ready for the summer activities, deactivitated to open back up. That's it, that's it. That was German, by the way, <laughs> not to brag. Ooh, we are up at, our gas mileage is up to 50, or 35.3 miles per gallon. Not bad, sister, not bad. I love this car. So grateful for Wanda. Wanda Rooney, Wanda Rooney. She is such a good little car. I'm excited to take my first real road trip in her too. We went to the Duluth, you know, we went there but I'm ready to go on like a real cross country road trip with her. And I know people are always like, oh, just rent a car or fly. Like you don't wanna put the miles on your car. Yes, I do. That's why I got this car, to put miles on it. <laughs> I got this car to drive it all around the world. So that's what I'm gonna do. <sighs> yeah, I'm itching. I've got that travel bugaroo. I am. I am itching to go somewhere, that's for sure. I'm gonna grab, I keep licking my lips, they're dried out. Ah, oh, that cheddar, that cheddar. And you know what I did? Oh, I'll tell you. Last night, I ordered some eco-friendly household cleaning products. I ordered um, an eco-friendly, they're all 100% plastic free, plant-based, and um, yeah, just super eco-conscious and eco-friendly. And I got laundry, um, like fabric softener kind of things, um, little sheets. They're all in little sheets. They look like a dryer sheet or like a little piece of paper that you like fold up. And so I got the dishwasher detergent, the fabric softener, and then I also got, or maybe they don't look like that. They might look like little pods. I'm not 100%. I haven't gotten them yet, so we'll see. And I got a uh, glass soap dispenser that has, it's uh, refillable pods that you put in and it turns into this foamy hand soap. And I'm so excited about that, you guys. I got a coupon for 20% off and I'm so excited to try it. So excited to see how it works out. And I've been wanting to switch over to eco-friendly products for a long time, but I was just like, oh, we have plenty. Like I didn't buy the laundry detergent because I have so much. We usually get it from Costco. And so I have so much of that. So I was like, I'm not gonna buy that right now. But I did the subscribe and save. So you save a certain percentage every month when you do that. And then I also got a 20% off coupon for just starting up. But then here's the best part. When I checked out, they were like, if you refer a friend, you get $30 and they save 30%. And I was like, 30 freaking percent? You mean to tell me if I had had somebody's code, I could have saved 30%? instead of 20, like that's a huge difference. And so, and then I was like, oh my God, genius. If I like this stuff, I'm gonna share it on my channel. And maybe two things, number one, convince somebody else to do an eco-friendly swap. And number two, maybe be able to make like a small income from that, like just a little affiliate link. And so I'm really, really excited about it. And I've been wanting to try eco-friendly products for a while because it's just, it's something that we consume so frequently like laundry detergent dishwasher detergent it's stuff that we use every single day and every plastic bag every plastic jug every little plastic pod all of it adds up and it's so so harmful for the environment and i always try 
I know that I am nothing if not a hypocrite, aren't we all? But I always try to make eco-friendly swaps when I can and when I am able to. That's one of the main reasons why I'm vegan is because that's something I'm able to do. And yeah, I still do things that aren't perfect. Like I do shop at places that are not super, like I just, I can't afford an $80 shirt. I just can't. I. I stain my clothes so easily. I ruin <laughs> everything that I own immediately. Like once I buy it, I ruin it. And so I I just can't afford eco-friendly, eco-conscious clothing. I just can't. So that's not something that I can do right now. However, that being said, I can make eco-friendly swaps in my kitchen and in my um in my laundry room, I can totally make a, a little change and a little swaparoo there. And that's something that I can do as one little part in the big picture. So I'm excited to try them out and see how I like them and see how easy they are to use and figure out. Because like with the foaming hand soap, it's like this glass jar, like a glass um bottle with a metal lid and you put in a little pod a little pod and then I don't want to come in. okay and then a little um you fill it up with water and then you shake it up shake it up shake it up and it turns into a foaming hand soap like what so awesome so I'm really excited to get those excuse me I have hiccups so yeah um, and I was just talking to my mom about that too. I was just like telling her how I got that super good deal on the Tide Pods. And I was just like, but like, they're not really for me. Like ideally I would like to find something that's super eco-friendly and I try my best with Costco. I get the big cardboard box filled with powder. So it's like, I don't think it's plastic free cause I'm sure there's still like a plastic coating on the box and it has a plastic handle and stuff, but and I don't think the box is recyclable either. So I was just like, I, I do my best with that, but like there's so much better that I could do. And the cost is not that different. So if you buy it at Costco, I did the math, per load of dishes for like the dishwasher, like pods or whatever, it ends up being like 14 cents. So 14 cents a pod, which is a really good deal that's at Costco. But if you get it at like Walmart, it's like 24 or 25 cents a pod. And so it, that's like a big jump. It goes to 24, 25 cents. And these ones, I did the math with my coupon that I got and like the subscribe and save deal. It is like 29 cents per pod for my dishwasher detergent. So I was like, really, it's not that different than going to Walmart and getting it, which is like the second best deal you can get. And it's not any different than going to like Target and getting the Target brand of like the pods or whatever, you know? So either way, it's not that big of a price difference. It's a few cents per pod and that's a sacrifice that I'm willing to make. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then, yeah, look at this guys. Mama? Yeah. I'm, I'm starting to get hungry again. What? Um, yeah, so I brought my like little schedule thing and my planner. 2022. I was just like flipping through, flipping through, flipping through. And I was just like, what? What? <laughs> what? So that's funny and silly. But Anyway, I'm going to get a new planner. We're at the Barnes and Noble now. I've only ever been to this one one time. It was when Rosie was doing dance and she was doing this like dance camp in Edina, which we never ended up doing because it was just so far from home that we were just like, this is ridiculous. Like we can't, we can't bring her here. So we ended up stopping that, but she was doing this dance camp that was like three days in Edina. And for the hour and a half that she was there, I could just leave and do whatever I wanted. So I was like, I'm going to the Barnes and Noble. So I did that one time, uh, maybe twice. And it was really fun and there's free parking here. So it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy, doodle do. And, um, yeah, it's all good. Oh, I would hate to be that semi truck driver right now. 
He is trying to back out into a really small space. Oof, that's not, that's not fun. That is not a job I want. Um, yeah, so anyway, we're going to go into the Barnes and Noble. I genuinely really appreciate you being here and chatting with me today. I'm sure this won't be the last time I talk to you. I brought Rose's iPad, so I'm thinking on the way home, maybe I'll talk to you again, tell you what I got um, at the Barnes and Noble. And yeah, it's a, it's a good day. I hope you're having a good day. Everything is going to work out. If you're, if you're not having a good day, everything will work out, I promise. And things will get brighter. The sun may not be out today, but it will be out again. So I love you guys. Leave a sunshine emoji in the comments below if you made it this far in the video, and I will talk to you next time. Bye!